Our passion didn't start with the mouth. It started with people, with the well-being of the profession. And if you're like me, maybe a little bit of your nerdiness in all things tech too. We all want to love what we do, but the truth is burnout, people problems, and glass ceilings can keep us from doing what we set out to do. So let's get back to the heart of connection. Welcome to the Dental Handoff. This show is about passing you the knowledge, the habits, the systems, and the strategies to lead your teams, lean on the tech, and listen to your gut while you take care of teeth. And let's get honest, the overall health of our communities. Let's stop using the wrong end of the toothbrush, y'all. My name is Dr. Kelly Tanner. Oh, and uniquely, I'm a dental hygienist, too. You can consider me a guru in the dental and leadership industry. With over three decades of experience, my goal is to take you to the next level by empowering growth, perspective, and confidence. By identifying the gaps, recognizing the plaque, and extracting the truth with other experts in the field. I'll share their stories, empower you to own yours, and elevate your passion in the process. So have a seat in the chair, put on your bib, and let's get to work. Welcome, welcome to The Dental Handoff. I am your hostess, Dr. Kelly Tanner, RDH, and today I have with me the brilliant, talented Trevor Maurer with Dental Ray. And you guys, when I met Trevor, when I met Trevor, I didn't really know what I was going to experience because what he told me after that what you told me, the messaging that I'm bringing to you guys today, that he is, is life-changing of what their, their product, their offering, their services can do for practices. So this is a little bit, you know, typically we talk about leadership, communication. I truly feel that this has to do with that handoff from the doctor. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute from the doctor to the medical radiologist and back to doctor and back to patient and how that goes. So Trevor, thank you so much for being on with us today. It's such a delight. Kelly, thanks for having me. I'm super excited to, to be on here and just going through your intro. It really stuck out to me. Well, the, the, maybe the little bit of nerdy part, I feel like that's where I, why I'm here is because I'm part of the, the little bit of nerdy part. <laughs> So um, I'm really excited, Kelly. You've just been phenomenal to work with, and um, we're excited to, to share what we have at Dental Ray with, with the rest of your audience. So Trevor, we usually start the show by asking you to dance. No, I'm kidding. We don't. Um, <laughs> we usually start. I'm messy. You guys, I always <laughs> mess with Trevor, and that's what makes this funny because I can do it live right now. But um, we, we usually start with, like, tell me a little bit about your why. And I know this isn't like the typical thing where we're talking about practitioners and offices, but you know, why are you with Dental Ray and what you're doing? Oh man, thanks for bringing that up. First off, um, <clears throat> have you read Start with Why, uh, the book by Simon Sinek? So for sure, uh, that's definitely in my top five, right? And so, uh, just talking about the core of what we do and and why I I signed up with. Uh, Dental Ray. Um, we're a newer company, um, but just the problems that we're solving uh, can really save lives. Um, and in essence, that's really what we're trying to do and uh, why we're here. Um, so I, another reason too, is I, I really want to work with good people. Um, the founders of Dental Ray are, uh, one of them's one of my best friends. Uh, Caleb Mansell, he's been a, a tech executive for um, a long time now, and he teamed up with uh, a radiologist and an orthodontist to find this really unique solution, again, to, to save lives um, so that um, we, we have these really, really great tools in dental offices now, uh, CBCT machines, where these, these images that a dentist is getting back is so... Um, so clear and, and really great that we can do a lot more with those images. And so having a radiologist um, get eyes and, and views on, on those images as well um, to find other pathologies that a dentist might not see. Um, I can tell you that it, it already has. We've already found cancer. We've already found um, 
other problems that are happening with patients that that wouldn't have been picked up otherwise without dental ray um, to really help change and save lives it's it's been really neat going into talking with offices we've uh, again we're we're a newer company and so when we were first getting started we went in and we we spoke with an office manager just about what we were doing and um, getting into their product. They're actually one of our beta users. And she told us a story about her nephew that had, um, that he had a tongue cancer. Um, and they, it just, it wasn't picked up um, and he wouldn't go in to get it, it taken care of. And it actually, they, they removed a, a bunch of cancer from his oral cavity and, um, uh, after a while, but he ended up passing away and she just got really emotional about um, making sure that these screenings are happening, that um, it, when there is something that that might be questionable in the oral cavity, that it's being taken care of. And um, that's a problem that that dental ray solves. So that was a really long answer, Kelly. And <laughs> I hope that that's, that's great. That's no, if you, you want to save lives. You want to you want to be a part of the future of saving people's lives and a part of that, part of that solution, because we do, we have so many tools that we use. We, you know, just think about, we used to have the blackberries and the flip phones about how much more they can do now. Mm -hmm. And if you think about all the existing technology and the practices that we already have at our fingertips that, that we're using to care for our patients in a way that we know that we can help them, what else are we able to see on that image? You know, so you're talking about, a, a provider taking a CBCT scan. And some of you all may or may not know what that is. It's a, it's a cone beam technology. That's the way that you may know about, know of it. And, and it images the, the anatomy differently. So it's very 3d. You can see different slices of different things, but when a dental office sees that they can see different fields. Some, sometimes you see here, sometimes you see here and we see the teeth and we see all the other infrastructures that we're looking for the landmarks. But then what happens when something shows up that you're not really trained to see? It's still there, but you don't know that it's there because that's not something that you studied or that you're an expert in. So that's what I love about Dental Ray is that it takes that experience from your office. You can send it off to Dental Ray to their medical radiologist and they can look at all the rest to clear your patient's bill of health and to give you that peace of mind and clear you from any type of liability. Man, Kelly, I see this is why I like talking to you because you can just put things in such a great way that's that 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 that's in the essence what what our company does. Like um we we love you um being able to just uh go out and and put that communication out there of, of, in such simple basic terms on on what we do. That was perfect. Thank you. Oh well, sure, but you guys are the ones making it happen and I, I, and that's why you guys, this is so mind blowing to me because I'd never thought of this until I met them. I never thought about what we, you know, we don't know what we don't know in practice. And we could, we could, we could be literally saving people's lives. And Trevor, I know that you have just seen recently and you can share what your experience is and what the feedback that you're getting and some of the stuff that you're, that you're finding. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we're, we had a dentist that, that actually just, he signed up with us a couple of weeks ago and his, his second image that, that he sent over to us, it actually, um, had, had something questionable that, that, um, turned out to be cancer. Um, and we were able to, um, get the right information over to the dentist to, to get to the patient, to, um, get them on their way to, to make sure that they are getting taken care of. Um, so that's still just an ongoing process, but that's something that, that we're seeing a daily, right? Um, so just in essence to, again, what, what dental ray is, is it's a software platform, uh, that automatically sends all of these comb beam CT images directly to a board certified medical radiologist. And that radiologist will review every image and then write a detailed report that is sent back to the office. And it will list out different uh, areas in the oral, ca oral cavity just to, um, to mark if they're okay or to, to say this is something of concern. Um, and so they, these, these uh, reports are coming back and uh, there's just so much, like you said, Kelly, that um, 
that a dentist, they, they know the dentition, they know what's happening a lot with the teeth, but these images are so clear and uh, the doctors that we have looking at them, um, the, they say that the CBCTs that, that are in dental offices right now are as good a quality as what they're using in the emergency room in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Like that's wow. how good of images these are that, that, um, they're, that these radiologists are reviewing um, for the, for the dentist. And so they're able to pick things up in the sinuses. Like you said, Kelly, um, sometimes CBCTs can actually even get into the brainstem and they can show some things that are happening back there. Um, they're, they're happening all, all over that, you know, just these radiologists are picking up all sorts of different things that, that, that a lot of dentists, they feel a little uncomfortable actually taking some of these images because they, they feel like they're liable um, for um, anything that is seen in the image. And so with Dental Ray 2, um, we, we're not even finding, we're not only just finding all of those uh, different pathologies and problems that are happening in, inside and outside the oral cavity, um, but we're also taking on the liability for anything that uh, is taken in that image. So Dental Ray, we, we pay a a pretty significant premium just to make sure that all of our radiologists are covered. Um, we have to have a board certified radiologist in each state to make sure that they are covered, which we do, um, we do provide, uh, but we take the liability off of the dentist so they can feel like they can take more images and they can feel confident that that patient will get the care that they need. That's huge. I mean, this, and I totally agree. The CBCT, is a device that's that sits in the office and then many of the offices that i have worked in and consulted with it's like the dentist is only the one or like a very highly trained assistant is the one who can touch the button or touch anything on it and we don't know the power and the magnitude of what we have for information right there in our office with mm -hmm. with being able to detect things and and the images that we're already taken taking and some doctors just to your point trevor they feel uncomfortable having a CBCT because it's like, okay, now that I have this, I'm responsible now for knowing all the other anatomy and if something comes up. And I think you and Caleb shared with me earlier on about some of the other things that images, you know, it, well, it images everything. You're, you're seeing the field of, of image with the, with the radiograph. But then cancers, um, airways, you know, different obstructions, mm -hmm. artery, you know, arteries closing, Things like mm -hmm. that, that if you catch them early, all things when you catch them early, it's just better. But things that when you're catching them, that you can inform the patient and look how meaningful that is and the value that you've now brought to that practice and to that patient's life mm -hmm. through the service uh, with you. <laughs> so uh, another one of, of our founders and um, our chief operating officer, he actually... Um, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here a little bit, but he actually um, had a fall and hit his head. He had a concussion um, and he went in just to go make sure that everything was okay with his head. Right. Um, so he did a CT scan. Um, and when they took that scan, they took a large field of view, right? They didn't just look at the brain. They actually looked from head, the top of his head down um, about his collarbone um, just to make sure that, everything was covered. And that's, that's standard of care, right? They, they need to make sure that um, they're taking a wide field of view and that they're, they're looking at everything. They're not just the, the head. They actually uh, found cancer down in his lymph nodes. And he would have never have known that he had cancer um, unless they took that larger field of view to see everything that was happening there. And so that's, um, that's a story that he shares often. And it's part of why he joined dental Ray Cause he understands that um, in essence, having a larger field of view and taking that CT scan, uh, it saved his life. Um, and so again, going back to the liability issues uh, when a doctor does uh, take a, a CBCT they're they're trying to get this, they're, they, they feel like they can't take that larger field of view because they don't want to be liable for everything. So they're taking these, these smaller frames of view, field of view, and uh, they're just, they're trying to make sure that that's all they need. But with dental ray, they don't have to worry about that, mm -hmm. right? Like you can take these larger field of view and know that we've got their back and we're going to look and find anything that, that needs to be taken care of. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of doctors 
taking the larger field of view. And again, it's, it's going back to the patient and saying, well, I was just, I was working on this one tooth or this one part of your mouth, but this is something that came up that we found. Um, just like in Dan's situation where it wasn't just Dan, our COO. Sorry, I don't know if I mentioned it. <laughs> um, he, he was the one with the brain problem and they took that larger field of view and found that. It's, it, we, we're seeing that same thing happen, but um, around the oral cavity. Um, and then they're not only taking the larger field of view, but they're also taking more images. Um, and again, like you said, Kelly, these are really, this is great technology that we have. This is incredible to have this in a dental office, these, these high powered machines. And um, if you have that technology, it should be used. Um, so when we're, we're talking to a lot of doctors and they are, they're taking more CBCTs, they're, they're, they're taking images of every patient um, nowadays, just especially because with, uh, there, is the, there is some talk about, um, how often you should be taking these, these images, right. About just, um, exposure to radiology and things like that, but just the radiology exposure to these machines is so low, um, nowadays too. It's just, we, sh we should be taking more of these images and we're glad that we can help, um, provide a service where, where a doctor feels like that he can or she can, sorry. No, absolutely. It's, you always hear that story of, you know, I went in with appendicitis and I'm so glad that happened because they were able to find other things. You hear that all, all yeah. the time. I feel like it's 90% of the time. Like I'm so grateful for that experience because they found other things. And this is exactly the same thing. And you all out in the dinner, dental field, uh, my listeners, followers, you know how things have transitioned with radiology from film to digital. This is the new gold standard that's coming up in practices. Right now, it's largely used for implants and reconstruction, oral surgery, things of that nature. But it's going to become the gold standard, and it's already headed in that direction. So I encourage you all to consider this. Trevor, when they – so talk me through, like, the workflow of this. I love a good workflow. So when you take, <laughs> when you take an image, the image is captured, like – how do they send it to you and what happens from that point? Yeah, great question. So what we, one of our mottos and the things that we say a lot is we just want you to take the image and then Dental Ray takes care of the rest. Uh, so when we do get you started with Dental Ray, uh, we do have a tech setup call where we download the software onto the CBCT machine. Usually there's a computer associated with that machine and we just download our software onto that machine. And then from there, every image will be uh, automatically sent over to dental, dental Ray. And so then the, the radiologist will pick it up from there and within 48 hours, uh, you will be given a, a portal to log into and there you'll see all of your image reports uh, and again, they come back within 48 hours, which is a time frame that we're sticking to. Again, we want to make sure that that's a quick turnaround for that. But then you just go into your, your designated portal and there you'll be able to see all of your images and all of your reports for all time. We'll all be, just be held there. Wow. That's amazing. And then the reports alongside those images are in that portal, I'm assuming. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. And if there is something of concern, we will be in touch with you right away. Um, so we do have workflows where, uh, depending on the level of concern that the radiologist has about this report, it could be a phone call right away just to make sure that that patient's alerted. Yeah. And then also, too, um, a question that I thought of early on was, how prepared are you with, like, if, if everyone in the world starts using this? tomorrow because it's such a great find. I'm like, okay, you guys, this is gonna, once people know about this, like I, I couldn't keep it to myself, you guys, like once I knew what was, what was possible here and what we're literally missing, we don't know what we don't know. I felt like I needed to bring Trevor on to talk about this. So like Trevor, when everyone comes to you and says, we want to do this, do you guys have enough people to scale? You know, that's a good problem to have, Kelly. Like, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so honestly, it's it's something pretty simple, but it's a, a need that we're finding in the industry. And we're feeling like we're just getting pulled in, right? So we're, we're, yeah. we're having some great partnerships with, like um, with yourself here, Kelly, um, where they are out promoting us and, and getting us 
into the industry and we're really getting sucked in. So we're, we're, we're prepared to handle it. Um, We, we are a newer company. And so uh, we do uh, have some steps to get you started in the process. So that might take a, a, you know, a two week period just for the onboarding step. But again, once we're in, it's, it, it runs itself. So we have some good. That's amazing. Yep. That's amazing. Um, so it's pretty much, you know, you set it and forget it in terms of, I mean, can the doctor choose which, uh, how many of the CBCTs, if they, if they're like, nah, this is just a, let's just say if they wanted to elect to not send them to you I, and you guys, I don't know the answers to these questions. So <laughs> that's great. So that's a, that's a, a very common question that we get. So what we do right now is we actually get every image will be um, sent over to us um, again, just to take care of the the patient care, but also uh, another aspect of the business is we help uh, we help with medical reimbursement for your CBCT images as well, and so that's another reason why um, our practices are choosing to send all their images over to us is because you can get a reimbursement um, in a couple of ways uh, for sending them to a radiologist and having them reviewed for the, by the radiologist. And so, um, we explain this to a lot of doctors and they're like, okay, that just, that just makes sense. Um, it's, it's a no brainer is what we hear a lot of times is because, um, uh, in a lot of instances, our, our software will pay for itself just because of the, the medical reimbursement aspect. And the liability coverage. I mean, of, of not having to ever worry about that. I mean, that's, that's huge and both. And I was going to lead into the medical reimbursement. So you beat me to it. I'm like, (laughs) all right, so what do offices do? So you coach them, you help them understand how that works too, because that's, that's something that probably we don't think about that. It is a medical, it's medically reimbursable. So you walk through, walk through the nuances of that with people. Yeah. So uh, we offer a couple of solutions for how an office can get medical reimbursement. We can train the office uh, and we have some great partners on helping them to get trained up on how to submit medical billing um, or we actually do it through a partnership of ours. Uh, So, again, we we want to make it a streamlined process where they take the image and set it and forget it, like you said, Kelly. Um, And so when that happens, uh, this is often a new revenue stream for the office. Uh, we are seeing pretty good returns. So uh, it's, it's, it can be around $200 an image that is um, reimbursed back to the office. And so, uh, again, it depends on the, the location, the geography of where the office is located um, and the insurance is involved there. Um, but with our medical biller, it's a partnership that we help set up and we've, uh, we've established things with our medical billing partner where there is no onboarding fees. Um, it is just getting you set up right away. And, uh, they do have another portal that they have that, that they'll get you involved with where that medical billing will just automatically start being sent back to the office. And that's, that's most often the, the choice that our offices are taking right now, uh, just because it is a revenue stream that they're, they've, they've, that's just new to the office that they've never um, picked up and it doesn't change the workflow in the office at all. It's just, they start getting medical reimbursed for these images when they weren't before. Yeah. And then just for our listeners who may be consumers and may not be dental professionals, we would only take these images if it were warranted medically, medically necessary for what, what it is we were doing. So when we say revenue stream, it's not meaning that we take them to make money, but we're saying our, our time, a lot of times um, we're undercut by insurance companies and we sort of eat that cost for what we're doing because of the love of the, the love of the field. But with these, what's happening is that they can finally pay us for what the service we're providing for you all. So it's, um, we only do things that are, that are medically necessary, but it is, it, they are compensating that employer back for what they are doing with that, that office, not the employer. Thank you, Kelly. Yes. A hundred percent. Thank you for saying that. Yep. Sure. Because I was just thinking, you know, sometimes patients can think that we do things, take x-rays just for money. And, uh, it's just about paying for all the, all the expertise and the years of knowing what it, what it takes to diagnose a radiograph. And right now we're having to outsource that when it comes to CBCTs because 
we don't have the expertise to do, to do that. So that's how we work together, I think, with integrative health. And then, you know, we can refer out. And, and this is like a whole health solution for our patients. And it's, it's truly a value to practices. You talk about your reputation and a dental community because you have this service to them. I mean, it's, it, blow, it blows things out of the water when you now say, hey, look, they took this x-ray and then they sent it on to a medical radiologist and I, I got clearance that, that I'm, you know, I'm good in that area, you know, or that there's no findings in that area. Not only did I get an implant, I got clearance that I'm good in this area. You know, that yeah. it, it's peace of mind, I think. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. And so we've actually just talking to, to patients, right? It's, uh, talking with my wife when I first talked to, was telling her about this company that I'm going to be a part of. She's like, Oh yeah. Why, if I'm going into a dentist, why wouldn't I have them, you know, check everything to make sure that I'm okay. It's like, it's what I do with my car. I want to go and get a checkup and I want them to look over everything to make sure that they're okay. Why wouldn't I do that with, with my body if they, if the technology is there. Um, so just, uh, yeah, especially from that, that that patient aspect of that patient side um we uh, maybe i said it wrong a little bit just about the oh, no. history no, and no, things no. but yeah no, it is <laughs> it's great there's you're not saying anything wrong i was just you know i know that we have a lot of different listeners um no, thanks, so no. you're you have a medical billing um you have a relationship there you're taking over the liability you make it easy you install it it's set it and forget it you're providing all the radiology reports back um what's your support like yeah so it's it's again a pretty simple um process uh and so there there aren't a whole lot of issues um but we're very well connected with our network of radiologists uh we're very well connected with uh our account management team um we're we're a really tight group here at Dental Ray. And so we're able to take care of issues pretty quickly um, and, and pretty efficiently. Usually it's, it's nothing that um, is really going to, to slow the office down at all, right? So um, it, offices are taking a few CBCT machines a day or images a day. Um, and so it's not a, a huge uh, a huge uplift for the office uh, if they need to get in touch with us. Well, we really aren't seeing a whole lot of issues right now, but if yeah. there were any, we'd be able to take care of it. Oh, for sure. And I know that you guys are, you know, you guys are, have always been on top of everything and communication. And just from my experience with it, you guys are on, on top of it. So I, I know as a growing company, you know, that may be a question that our listeners have, like, what's the customer service like? Cause, but you guys are, you're very hands-on. You're very much anything you need. Let's work it through. Yep. And that's something that we take into a, a high consideration too, especially Caleb, our CEO, being a tech executive. Um, we've seen um, in other companies where it's been hours of wait time for support calls. And it's been um, something that, that we know that we need to alleviate. And so that's something that's very mindful for us. Thanks for bringing up, Kelly. Oh, sure. So Trevor, um, it, our time has flown by. I always, I always say that I'm like, oh my gosh, how did it get to be 30 minutes? How can people reach out to you to get more information about, about how that technology, how your software works with their CBCT device and what's involved with just getting more information or they say, Trevor, I, you know, I really am interested in this. How would they reach out to you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think the first place to go is our website uh, and it is just get dentalray.com. Um, there you can fill out a form. We have some um, information about uh, what we do right there. Uh, we, we do ask that as you're filling out that form, uh, please mention Kelly uh, just through here. Um, and we actually, we have uh, um, some promotions right with Kelly too. So um, anything that, that does come through or when you get in touch with with us at get a, get dental uh, that you mentioned Kelly and that um, we'll be able to, to help you out there. Um, but that's probably the best place to go. Um, and then uh, if you want to get in touch with me specifically, I'm just Trevor at get dental Cool. 
really appreciate you sharing this exciting innovation with all the offices. I mean, once you told me about this, I, I had to basically call five people and tell them, I was like, you're never going to believe what I learned about today because I'd never, I'd never thought of that, how much we're missing. So thank you all for the work that you're doing and the integrity behind what you're doing to take care of our patients and our communities. And you know, that's part of our dental handoff, right? It's part of how we're communicating with providers, each other, and um, just so glad that you're in our industry and there to support us. Well, thanks so much. And yeah, we're really excited. And thanks for having us today, Kelly. Or me Absolutely. Too. Absolutely. <laughs> well, listeners, if you love what you hear and you are following us, you love it, we would love for you to do us a favor and go on to Apple and give us a five-star rating because, you know, Apple's AI is what matters. So thank you so much for joining us today. Trevor, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'm sure that we'll talk soon. So getdentalray.com is how you get more information. Have a great day. Thanks, Kelly.